Hi friends and welcome to today's 10 minute easy yoga. Today is going to be a class that is great if you are a beginner in yoga or if you're simply just looking for a quick class and don't have much time throughout the rest of the day. This is great for you. So grab two blocks, place them to the side and let's get started. So let's start in an easy seated pose at the center or at the top of our mat, opening the palms up towards the universe, sitting up nice and tall with our spine here, squeezing our belly into our rib cage, just taking a moment of stillness. Today we'll be holding some poses for a little bit longer to really feel into the stretch. On your next inhale, open your eyes as you reach your arms out towards the sky and up, palms together and exhale, fold it forward. Reaching your forehead down towards the mat or towards the ground. Walking your fingertips forward as much as you can to get a deeper stretch through the arms and the shoulders, but not letting your butt lift off. So letting your tailbone still be touched to your mat here. Feeling a stretch throughout our back, our spine. And slowly release, swing your legs underneath you into a hero pose. Inhale as you reach your arms, lengthen up towards the sky, palms together. Exhale, taking your hands to your heart. And again, inhale, reach them out to the sides and up to the sky. And exhale, take left hand towards the left side reaching your right arm overhead and stretch it out towards the left and just give it a little pulsing movement here so you really feel and lengthen through the right side body feeling that sensation through your right side and make sure you're not collapsing so really open up through that chest look up towards your right arm and just breathe with a little pulsing movement here helping to go deeper into the stretch. This should feel really good for your back. One last deep breath in. Slowly release, taking it to the other side, right hand down, reaching the left arm overhead and towards the right, and starting to take movement now, pulsing towards the right side. Making sure your shoulders are relaxed here. Both your sit bones are grounded. And we're really thinking about lengthening through that left side here. Making sure the chest is nice and open, maybe looking up towards the arm if that feels nice. Two more deep breaths in here. And slowly release. Still in a hero pose, tuck your toes underneath. Make sure all 10 toes are tucked placing your hands with your fingertips facing towards your knees. Start to slightly lift your palms off the mat and move your hips side to side here so that we really go deep into our wrists, into our fingertips, our forearms, really feeling into this. Letting your shoulders be far away from your ears here so you're relaxing them elongating the neck and maybe moving forward and back as well in this so just finding different movement making this organic whatever feels right for you if you like to go deeper maybe taking the elbows bending it even more feeling a nice stretch helping us to strengthen our wrists and our hands so this is a really great preparation pose and of course this class is great to do before some of my other classes but this is a really great preparation pose if you are going to do anything on your hands such as downward dog and slowly coming out stretching out our ankles start to see if you can lift your knees up now if it's too much on the ankles it's fine if you just stay in a hero pose and maybe place a blanket or blocks for modification but over time, you'll start to stretch out the ankles and this will feel really nice here. So if you are on your ankles, start to move it one by one, 
This is also helping us to sit up straight, so helping our posture as well, because as we're grabbing on to our ankles here, it's helping to open up our chest and our shoulders. So really warming up through the tops of our feet here, feeling that nice sensation along your toes. This is really great if you're on your feet all day. It's like a nice foot massage here. One more deep breath in and slowly move your, your body weight forward, but come on to just your toes. Your hands are in front of you and start to move your weight up and down here, letting your head be heavy. So maybe tucking your chin just a little bit in towards your chest. And what we're doing here is we're starting to warm up our legs, our calf muscles. So you may start to feel some fire, some burn. Really nice for the legs here. Especially if you are waking up in the morning, it's nice to stretch it out. Just breathing through this, letting your arms be nice and stretched out and long in front of you. Just gripping with the fingertips here so you can feel that stretch throughout the outer shoulders. Just keep moving here. So it's really great to link our movement with our breath, helping to bring more healing energy throughout our entire body here. Moving that chi throughout our body. And coming into yoga squat by taking your feet to the outer edges of the mat and moving in your squat by rolling to the outer edge of the foot and doing it on the other side. So you just roll to the outer edge and then you do it on the other side as you roll the hip open. Your hands are nice and grounded on the mat, all 10 fingertips, palms grounded. And just move with your breath here. Nice, slow movement, going deep into our hips and our inner thighs. And also being really aware of our feet as well. So you'll feel this is a really good ankle stretch as you're moving your feet to the outer edges. You'll feel into that as well. It's a really great preparation for balancing poses, for hip, hip opening poses. One last breath. And just hold your yoga squat. Going deeper into this, letting your tailbone melt deeper and lower towards your mat as you sit up nice and tall with your spine here. And slowly take your knees back and as wide as you can into a wide-legged child's pose, reaching your arms far forward, resting your forehead on your mat here, and letting your hips fall back towards your heels. So going deep into our hips still, but we're also stretching our back and our shoulders and our arms. Letting our chest melt deeper here. Just letting your body feel good in this position. Helping to calm and relax our brain. Really good pose to come to anytime you're stressed or in need of some peace helping to improve circulation. Lots of great benefits with child's pose. Slowly come out of your child's pose. We're going to come standing on our feet into triangle pose. So your left foot turned out towards the side, right foot in front of you, placing your right hand. You can grab along your calf if you can't reach your ankle. And your right arm is up towards the sky here. So we're opening that side body, but making sure our weight isn't collapsing. So we're nice and long with our triangle. Starting to open up your shoulder as you windmill your arm up and around and down. Maybe letting your gaze follow that hand. So making sure that you really feel into the right side body. This is great for the shoulders especially if you do suffer from any shoulder pain or injury. 
This is great to do every day. And one last one. Holding that arm up as you look up towards your hand here, twisting a little more from the abs, but squeezing the abs in. Maybe engaging your abs and letting go of that leg. Just giving yourself a little core challenge here. And slowly taking it to the other side as you turn your right toes out towards the side now. And start to pivot your body towards the right and come down, grab the right hand on your right calf as your left arm reaches up here, looking up towards that left hand. Starting to windmill your arm taking it up and around and down. The slower you take with these circles, the deeper stretch you feel through the side of your body. You wanna make sure you feel into it, that you're not just doing it. The whole purpose is to feel it so that you receive the benefits of this posture. One last one. Reach those fingertips up nice and high. Maybe letting go of that right hand here. A little bit of core engagement. Looking up towards that left hand. And slowly coming out, coming into a seated position. How we started at the beginning of our class. Taking a moment here before we close up our practice. Taking your palms up towards the universe again. Finding your breath, inhale. Exhale, release, let it all go. One last breath, inhale. Exhale, release. Now as we open our eyes, let's open our arms out towards the side, reach up towards the sky, and exhale, taking your hands to your heart. And again, inhale, reach to the side, and up, palms together taking those palms to your heart, making sure you press those palms together so your elbows are straight with your wrists. Sit up nice and tall. Thanking yourself for being here today, for taking this quick, effective practice to begin or maybe end your day. Subscribe to Yana Yoga. Leave me some comments below and also like if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Namaste.